The following is a fan-based parody. Sam and Max are property of Steve Purcell. The Sam and Max games are property of Telltale Games. Please support the official release. Yeah, what's the big idea, man? I mean, the last episode was the one where I was introduced, and you just cut my scene out. Hate to break it to you, Buggy, but you're just not that big of a character. Yeah, it's not like anyone actually cares about you or anything. Oh, sorry, Commissioner. We're on our way. Okay, what poorly conceived assignment did the Commissioner make us go on this time? Well, this time we have to deal with the President of the United States, or at least the one-dimensional stereotype that the writers would want you to believe is the President. Really? Really. Finally! Hey, where can I be in this episode? Shut it! Seriously, Telltale, this is what happens when you leave bugs in your games. <laughs> We are standing in an open field west of the White House. No, really, this joke is actually in the game in an attempt to appeal to graphic adventure fans. I are serious, bodyguard. This is serious building. Serious, bodyguard is serious. Who are you? Apparently, we're Sam and Max. Please let us in the White House. No. Why not? Because I have been instructed to not actually have a personality and to be as monotonous and bland as just about every other character in this series. Oh, darn it. I was going to beat up the president today, but violence actually makes the game interesting. Which is the exact opposite of bland, so I guess we'll be on our way then. Okay, you win. I'm the president, and I live in America, which makes me the president of America. You hear that, America? This is who you're going to get for a president if you keep voting the way you do. Who are you? I'm the president's bitch. And I'm- Yeah, I know who you are. I just want to know why the f*** you're here again. And I know there's only one of you this time, but that's still one too many. Dude, that's not very nice. Don't care. Aren't you going to kick my ass or something? Oh, I almost forgot about that. Falcon PUNCH! Wow, I really did not see that coming. No, wait, on second thought, maybe I did see that coming. You beheaded the president! He's a poorly made puppet. What did you expect? Okay, just for that, I'm gonna invoke a super secret ability I have that the writers just made up at the last minute. Arise! Arise! Okay, now I have definitely got to stop taking drugs. My fellow Americans, I have somehow returned from the dead in order to throw my hat into the ring. All 100 tons of it, baby! Sheesh, when did Abe Lincoln turn into a complete badass? For some reason, I am opposed to the concept of a reanimated former president governing this country, so I think one of us should run against him. Ooh, I want to do it. You? You're barely a playable character. I'm the one who's done all the work so far in this scene. I want to do it. Okay, you can do it. Booyah! I'm gonna regret this decision, aren't I? We're live on the White House lawn, bringing you a debate between a living statue of Abraham Lincoln and a rabbit. So, yeah. If you viewers want to switch to a more interesting channel, then go ahead. It is obvious that I am the clear winner in this debate because, let's face it, I am honest Abe. I am loved by everyone. Yeah, and I bet John Wilkes Booth loves you too. Also, may I add that I am voiced by talented voice actor Roger Jackson? You know, from the Powerpuff Girls and the Scream Movie franchise, while my opponent is voiced by William Caston. Uh, who's William Caston? My point exactly. Well, since Lincoln is going to be president, again, we'd better leave. Yeah. I told you I should have done it, but no. Driving! Driving. It's us again. Hey, Sam! Do I look pretty? Yeah, you look pretty. Pretty ugly, that is. Don't say that! I can make men 
fall in love with me? Girl, you so ugly that only a stiff without a body would date you. Ignoring that, I have now been given a career as a matchmaker. And according to this piece of paper, you two are soulmates. Um, Sybil, I'm not gay. Yeah, no homo. Well, the script says you are. Is it any wonder that you will remain a virgin? No one would want to date you for any reason. Not me, not Sam, not even the giant living statue of Abraham Lincoln that is currently running for president. Oh my god! Mega Ultra Lincoln? That is so cool! I'm going to be super obsessive and stalk him like prey until he goes out with me! No. I... I can't believe you'd do this to me, Mega Ultra Lincoln! I thought you were awesome, but you're a disappointment, like the new Back to the Future game! America, you have spoken, and your new president is Max! Because you... think he's more awesome than Mega Ultra Lincoln. Yeah. You people have really short attention spans, you know that? What the f***? How could I, the 16th president, move to a Now that you're the president, Max, I think it's time we did something to stop Mega Ultra Lincoln from hypnotizing everyone. Are you kidding me? I'm the president now, so that gives me an excuse to sit on my butt all day. Looks like I'll be the only one actually doing anything for a while. Again. Hey everyone! Did you miss us? Oh great. My first day in the White House and I get these freaks. <sighs> But since I'm the president now, I hereby declare it illegal for the soda poppers to be in any more episodes. What the hell? Hey, the people have spoken. Oh, come on. Our voices aren't that bad. And from now on, I hereby declare that this episode shall be available for free on Telltale's site for some reason. Oh, and I also get first dibs on the war room. You know, since weapons apparently give me a boner. Pointless musical number, this is a pointless musical number. Yep, definitely cutting down on the drugs. Okay, a room this high-tech has to have something that'll take down that crazed president. Let me see. Not Lincoln. Not Lincoln. Definitely not Lincoln. Bosco's Inconvenience Store? Bosco could be in terrible danger, so let's warn him as fast as we can by walking over to a store as slowly as possible. Das Vidanya, crackers. And Darth Vader to you too, Bosco. Hey Bosco, did you know that your store is being targeted by the White House for a missile attack? Oh hell no. Nah. That's what's going to happen when too many damn people vote for a white president. They always try to kill off a brother. No wonder it's called the White House. Now you take your racist president and get out my store! Actually, I'm not the president. Really? Then who he? That guy is. Tra la 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 la, look at me, I'm having a good time destroying the city and I can get away with it because I'm Abraham Lincoln. La 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 la, I can also get away with hopping around like a spastic bunny for no reason. La 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 la. What the? Hmm. <laughs> Free to save my ass. Pointless, Pointless showboating. showboating! You know, Max, you didn't have to lie to Bosco like that because he's gonna kill you when he finds out you're still the president. It's okay, Sam. I'm a main character, which means I can't ever die. Period. Then it's a good thing you don't know what happens to you in season three. No, what was that? Nothing. <laughs> Sweetheart, don't make a thing of my face. I will always wave my finger under your, your breath. You want me to say it in your face? Yes, yes, I will be happy to. I'm saying it to your face Thank right you. now. I'm tired of you and the f***ing chicken. What? How dare that that long-eared Mary Sue write us out of the series? Oh, they're gonna pay. See you in season two, Sam and Max. We'll be waiting for you in hell. <laughs> <laughs>